Hello! <laughs> Nearly knocked you over. <laughs> Hello my wonderful friends and welcome back to another video dedicated to the Baytech, Batech, Btech. I'm tossing up between Batech and Baytech. This video is dedicated to the Baytech and it's going to be a more in-depth look and review at my brand new toy. Last week we saw how I managed to actually get one and this week I am going to be showing you a lot more about how it works, what I've been up to. As you can see if you followed my journey on the old socials then you will see that a few changes have happened. We have now are sporting my wheelchair. on the chair. And then it's over me eating chunks. This is a bit windy. She in? She's in mate. She in? She's in. That's so easy isn't it for you? I have a few bruises, pulled a few muscles, but yeah, I did, I did fall out. I thought that I would talk about the history of Batek and how it came about. Back in 1997, how back I'm really sorry if I'm not saying that correctly, had a road traffic accident resulting in him being left quadriplegic. He was very, very passionate about motorbikes. He even studied industrial engineering. And when he was offered all of these mobility devices and equipment, he just thought that this wasn't cool, that it's not fit for what he wants to do. So that is when he started to make little prototype bikes to go on his wheelchairs. At the age of 27 in 2006, Powell decided that he wanted to help other people get out and have a more fulfilled life and started manufacturing products to help other disabled people. That was when, in 2006, Batek Mobility was born. The company has gone from strength to strength, winning loads of awards and being recognized all over the world. Their mission is simple, radically improve the mobility for people with physical disabilities. Their strapline is you can get used to living in a wheelchair but not giving up on life. Okay, the Beta came with a wheelchair and my plan was to always put my wheelchair onto it because it's a lot more comfortable. If you have a keen eye you will recognize this wheelchair. Woo! It's my um, upstairs wheelchair. So I would show you what I've done to it to make it sort of uh, Batek compatible, yeah. So Sean has put the docking system on. <laughs> Have a look at my dock. And I've also put a little pick pack on. Whoops, if you've seen my pick pack videos, you'll know that they come in three sizes, but because I've got the dock here and it's quite far forward, I can't put my pick pack there. But this one fits perfectly and it's got puncture repair stuff in there and a few Allen keys in case we need to do any tightening. I put the orange grippos on, which I think they're really cool. They're gonna be great for visibility when I'm on the road. And also when I unhitch, it's gonna make pushing in this wheelchair a lot easier. I've also put my J cushion onto this wheelchair. It's a bit more spongy than the Supracore one. So hopefully that will help with the vibrations, which are quite painful when you're going along the Baytech quite fast on uneven ground, really needs some suspension in the wheels. I've put this fantastic backpack on. You will have seen this in my video where I talk about all of the wheelchair customization ideas. It's a backpack from Newton and um, I got it through Motion Composite. It fits amazingly to wheelchairs, there's no straps to worry about and it's so easy for me to access as well than a normal conventional backpack. It really shakes perfectly for a wheelchair. Isn't it? Shape comes down it's and so it's deceptively good. deep. It's deceptively deep. I've made it uh, a bit more comfortable when using the Baytech. So to hitch up you've got three stages. You roll up 
and you've got this bar here and then that hooks under this bit here and then you hook that under so that's the first kind of stage then you lift this lever up and tilt yourself back you don't need too much body strength to do that but I am using a lot of arm strength and then that you let go and then that locks on the back part and then you're ready to go and then to unhitch you simply press the lever which releases the back part of the clamp and then you pull your, push yourself down pull that bit down which unhooks the front bit of the clamp and then you can move back Okay, so I'm at home opera. Normally, when I have to come down here, I have to drive, take out my wheelchair, do all the transferring and heavy lifting and everything. But I was able to just come down here in about five, ten minutes. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhitch and leave this outside with Sean. However, the last time I came in here, I got myself into a right old mess. I had to undock the bike, and I have been trying for like 15 minutes now, 15, 20 minutes, and I just cannot hook it on for the life of me and like my spoons are running out so I've just had to call Sean to come and rescue me. Where is she? There she is. Hey. <laughs> I can't get it on Sean. Can you help me? Anyway I did it. Let's get it. Look how oh yeah look how pretty they are. And then I thought oh I can't just go around in my cycle helmet in a wheelchair, that looks really weird. Yes. <laughs> You're going to hitch up now there? You're in that, that gutter in that? this should be able to do it. So here we go. This is the first one because there is no other option. What? How is that slowly? You can't go up it slowly. You need to have speed you don't. to get up. Take your mask off to talk down. It's me. <laughs> We're just at the bank. We've made it four miles, four uh -huh. kilometers, I think. Still got a full charge. Um, the bank door is a little bit of a funny angle, and because of the whole social distancing thing, um, I think I'm just going to unhitch it, and then Sean's going to look after the bike while I go in. Scary moment, didn't you? Oh yeah, um, there's a huge um, ramp a hill up there, and I I didn't have my uh, 
thingy fast enough and I ran out of power like just at the top and I was like no and I was skidding back so then I had to like roll back and then skid up yeah I made it now I'm getting a coffee to calm my nerves Stressful for me too. Wondering what you're going to do <laughs> on the bike. What what choices I'm going to make? <laughs> yeah, because you're not used to it. This whole bike riding malarkey. No, I'm not. The last time I did it, I was a child, and I feel quite childlike when I'm out on the yeah. bike. Yeah, I do. I, I'm wow. probably like worse than Daisy. Again. It really is. I'm like judging. <laughs> I do speed. worry less about Daisy on the bike, on the bike than I worry about you on this. <laughs> We'll get there though, Sean. Yeah, it's I just been doing it a few times. We've never ever been able to go out on bike rides together. Ever. No. So this is great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's good, like just a nice bike ride up. <laughs> Except your blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you have been asking, how does this handle on hills? And that's a very good question, so we're gonna find out. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me or see me, but here's the first hill, it's pretty steep, so we're going to go down. And what I like about it is it doesn't feel like I'm going to lose control as I do in a wheelchair. This one is really steep. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to make it. Nearly. Come on. It's gonna do it! We're gonna make it! Yes! Okay, now I'm gonna go down this one. Here we go. Going down. Oh my god, that's far. Oh. Okay. Let's go if we can go back up it. Ooh, nearly tipped. Nearly tipped. Get a run up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Right, 2016 k I'm gonna go right here. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Yes! 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 I don't know what I got on the GoPro. Oh, I'm like, I'm really shaky and adrenaline y. Too busy watching you than watching what I was filming. <laughs> I nearly tipped it when I did the circle. I felt it tip a bit, yeah. So I, now, one thing that I said on the GoPro that I don't know if I um, caught up on it, but when I'm going down a hill, I don't feel like I'm going to lose control like I do if I was to free wheel down just in my wheelchair. You know, when you go down a really steep hill in your wheelchair, it's like, Aah! but in the Batek or Batek. Um, when I go down the hill, I don't feel like I'm going to lose control or lose some fingers, which is good. No walk and furry is what they say down under. Ooh, that's so much fun. I do feel, I do feel a bit shaky. And adrenaline -y. I hope you can gauge how steep these hills are but it's fun and I think if I was to have weights at the front that would be much better on the wheels and I think if I was to have some suspension and um, off-road tyres I think I'd feel a bit better I but these tyres are like eight nine years yeah. old and they're hot now yeah oh look I had the I brake on the whole time <laughs> oh this is why you worry. This is why I worry. This is why I worry. Stress. I think I can say to there's lots of things to think about. Sean's Some actually more obvious than Sean's others. actually only 21. <laughs> I think you've got a bit of adrenaline going, haven't you? Yeah, I do. I'm high. I'm high on life. Great. <laughs> right.
<laughs> oh, this one's hot. Yeah, it's hot because I had the brake on. <laughs> Yeah, keep going right around. Some of you were asking about the turning circle. So I thought, where better to try it than on a massive hill embankment type thing? So this path is probably about a metre and a half wide. And then um, it slopes off like down a ditch. Dangerously so, down into a ditch. Yeah, so where better to try the turning circle? Okay, so it's not going to make it, but then I can turn it the other way, pull the wheel, and then we can turn round. Oh, cool. Exactly. If you whack it up really high and then turn it one way and hold the wheel. See? And that's using the spinning wheel. <laughs> yeah, probably a nice smooth surface as well would do the same thing. Probably not someone's house. So do you want to ruin their floors? No. They're in the middle of a shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Slow down. You're leaving burn marks everywhere. the longest I've ever done. We left at quarter to 11 and it's now quarter past two. We did lots of little bits and we did stop off and see hi. And we did, ew, ew, you've had a drink. So much fun, but I am exhausted. I think we did 10 Ks probably. And I'm on to the third orange, which is pretty good going. I'm so stoked and surprised at how much battery life that has. Okay, so when I got home, we were on the third orange. Feeling exhausted and in pain. It's the vibrations. That's what it is, man. I need some off-road tyres and or wheels with suspension. Preferably some wheels with suspension because every bump, it's not like a bike, it's much more jolty than a bike. <laughs> Energy. So I thought it might be interesting for you to see how I store the Baytech because when I was looking at getting one, I was thinking, oh, they're quite big and I was thinking, where am I gonna put it in the house? So this is our understairs cupboard and it just fits nicely in there. And if I'm going out and Sean's not around, I can get him to leave it out before he goes. And it goes on like that. There we go. So she's charging away. Close the door. Okay, my friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video and having a little insight into how the Baytech fits into my day-to-day -day life and how it's kind of changed my life for the better as well. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them down below. I have a couple more videos um, kind of planned. I'd like to show you how I get it into my car, how it fits in the boot and taking it out for like a longer trip out. So let me know if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.